CX and Gaming. I'm Rachel and I'm with Kyle right now. Yes. And he's making me play one of the maps for Anisha. <laughs> I don't know how excited I am to do this, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> You're gonna do fine. Okay. I'll let you do the honors and click and start. Wait, read it first. Okay. Parcel for Amalian. I don't know how to say that. So it's a, her second Christmas map. Might be Emmeline. I don't know. But you have the weird name. I don't, I don't know how to say it. But should pick better like names. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, an, er an elderly man calls upon the service of a young courier to deliver a special parcel to his younger sister for the holidays. Can you see how this goes? Um. It better not be scary. Excuse me, son. I have a favor to ask. Okay, his voice is so He's an old creepy. man. Yeah, but creepy man it's old men don't sound like that. And I need a present delivered to my dear sister. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, he sounds like a serial killer. I do it myself, as I always do, but it seems my age is catching up to me. They didn't see if they were pop out to not enough. Okay, no they're be hitting you most of the time, just pop out to be mad at you. Playing as the courier, delivering the package, basically. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting from this. Is that what you're getting? Thank you, son. You're doing an old man a huge service. I don't know why they had to make the guy's voice so scary. Like it's not making me feel any better about this map. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be mad at you. I don't think there's any monsters. I'll turn the volume up just a little more. <laughs> Great. And just waiting for it to load to see if it's gonna kill us or not. Kill us? What's gonna kill like, us? Right, no, right when it stops loading, just pops out, just comes out of nowhere. I can definitely see that happening. Ooh, it's dark. I hate you. Press M. You got a memento. It, it came up. Uh oh. Sound effects. Look at the blood on the ground. Wait, check out the whole area. You gotta always look at all around you. Remember, search everything just like how when I play. You gotta look for clues. How you? How you click on stuff? You just get close to it. Yeah, this is my first time playing. Yeah, guys, this is her first time playing, so don't be too hard on her. She's never played in Egypt. Wait, do you just click? Yeah, you basically push here. Wait, just keep the mouse like in the same place. Like, look. Yeah, just like. Mm. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> the heck is that? Okay, I'm, this is scary. I don't like this. I feel like you're lying to me. There's, There's no monsters, I promise. People said from the beginning, from the comments I read, that it was scary. That and, and was? That seemed like it was going to be a scary map, but they said after the beginning it's not. But there's no monsters in this, okay? Okay. I didn't know how complicated Misha is. Like, you can't even like, click on anything out far no, away. Like, you can move quicker. You just, like, look, watch. Like... Hey, look, look how I'm playing. Like, see, check quick. Like, walk right up to it. See? And then, like, basically you can tell if you can move something or not. Like, look, for example, this. Like, you walk up to it. And mm -hmm. if it shows a hand. But see, they don't move the mouse. Just hold it down and just turn. But, like, just practice. Like, see? That's 
tell you moves. And you don't, yeah, you don't gotta lift the mouse up. Just like, just slide. So check in there. But you don't gotta worry about, there's no monsters. Oh, you gotta move back a little. What's up with like the green gas? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. He's like, maybe some ghost just farted or something. <laughs> <laughs> always check behind the paintings. Like, yeah, like, but like, how you know if it? Can it will move? show a hand. That's oh. how you know. It always shows a hand if you can move something. That's how you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause there's a lot of different places. There's a lot of rooms here. I don't exactly know what we're supposed to be looking for. To check on the person. Yeah, we just gotta find. Okay, it's so locked. Wait, but see if you can. No, you can't. Wait, climb up on that table. I wonder if you're you're supposed to like go in there somehow. Like, see if you can crouch in there. How you crouch? You didn't. Oh, control. Sorry, the control button. There. See if you can go in there. Oh, this might be an important room. It looks like there's a note on that table. You see it? Press control again. Where? Over it, way down there. You see that? It looks like there's a note on that table. There's a key. Yep, we, we found the right room. Hi, you won't let me kick. This game is so complicated. What is like, look. Patient name, Emmeline Quincy. Birth date, February 18th, 1902. Age, 6 years old. Weight, 21 kilograms. Jesus. Height, 130 centimeters. Date of appointment, November 22nd, 1908. Patient came in with her mother and sibling today. Mother told me the child, Emmeline, was developing a harsh cough and some slight muscle shakes. Okay. The child had been playing outside when she began to grow oh, tired geez. quicker than usual and was told to go in the house, where she began coughing. Oh, the child was told to rest and drink plenty of water, as well as try not to go outside. I'll have her come in in a week to do some tests on what could be causing this. Signed, Dr. Mark Andrews. Thank you. Okay, that basically... Sterile. Always check... Yeah, I'm getting good at this. Remember my techniques. So just throw the chair. get the hang of it. You just gotta just point the mouse. And you can back up too, you know. Hey, close thing. Just throw it shut. Yeah, like that. Don't be nice with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so you're done with this room. Oh, you can probably get out the door and just move the chair. That's what was blocking you from getting in. There you go. Let's toss it aside. Oh, I hit myself the door. <laughs> yeah, if there's monsters in here, I would surely die because I can't even go that fast. Wait, at least you know you got one room out of the way. Wait, how do you uh, run again? Shift, but wait, go to the left. I think there's a room. What? Oh, no, never mind. Um, so now you're gonna do the right side. So start by checking that first door right there. It's probably, I'm just gonna guess it's gonna be locked, but we'll find out. Okay. Ha! It's not locked. Oh, what? Dark room. Stop! No, there's no monsters though, so you don't gotta be scared. Like, it's just a bunch of dark rooms. It's all... Does it? No, that painting's creepy because I played on a map when his whole face changed on it. Look like he's just looking into my soul. deep into your soul. Rachel's playing this good though. She's learned for me to wear like good treasure hunting Indiana Jones skills. Somewhat. Look, look behind, check the drawers, check behind the paintings, always check behind the paintings. It's like a rule. And I'm so glad we're not playing with monsters because I'll die surely. Because I can't even, I don't even know how to control this. Oh, what's going on? Oh. And there's that animal, I think. Ew. Is, is the sound effects creepy? Yes. Does it kill them to like at least clean up? No. Ew, it looks like vomit. Something's obviously not too good in this castle. Or the uh, bugs too. Cockroaches? These things look weird. 
Hey, I wanna leave. Yeah, but there's gotta be something important. Why? Babe, there has to be. Look around. Cause there must be something of use. Or they, I don't think that they would have made this just for nothing. There must be something in here. Mm -hmm. Your person's coughing. Sounds like a girl. Here, let me search around a little. I know you hate this room. I'm trying to get you out of here quick. Oh, I think you could... No. Disgusting. See, there's nothing important in here. Those yeah, are just guts. It's odd that there's just a room of nothing, basically. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. I know. It's, it's like. It's... Whoa, what happened? Alright, so. Let's keep. Let's just make sure there's nothing of use in it. Maybe that blade machete. If it will let me pick it up. See, sometimes the map creators will be very smart. They'll hide something under something a lot. I just find it odd to be in a room with nothing of use. Like, they literally, that's saying they designed this whole thing just for, like, nothing, basically. Or maybe just creep me out. Yeah, maybe. Now, this is another thing I didn't tell you. Practice this really quick. This button and this... Wait, no. Um... You need a lantern. These two right maybe here. Maybe we need to find a lantern. Q and E. Mm -hmm. That's how press those Q and E. That's how you peek. But you don't need to worry about that because there's no monsters. But mm -hmm. let's go ahead and leave this room. Okay. Because I don't think there's anything in here. Now you tell me, like I retold you. <laughs> oh, I've played a lot of maps. Where mm -hmm. they hide things. Well, it's just this happened to be surprisingly a room. I, I tell, I'm telling you, this night scare the hell out of me. Okay, so stab me, please. Oh, that's probably the key to the stairwell that you have. See? So tab, and then you're going to select the key, double click it. Whoa, what's that other thing? Oh, that's probably the parcel. Hello, scary room. Let's see if we're going to die today. Remember, you don't got to move the mouse to slide it. Why is this person still coughing? Because the gas is and stuff. Why is there gases? I have no idea. Seems like it's a pretty straightforward map, though. Like, it's, there's blood on the ground. That, you see it? That's the thing that gets me. What? This is blood? blood? Well, no. In certain areas, there is. Maybe it's supposed to be wine stains. Possibly. Is there anything down there? No. Probably there's, like, no, um... So I guess you just go right up the stairs as well. Why do we need... We don't even have a lantern yet. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little hours to find it. You said there's nothing scary! Not a monster. Hey, how you run? Shift? Yeah. Did that scare you? Yes. Yes, it's it did. Papers. Still. It's like... Wait, can you pick anything up? Look on the ground. Are there any glowing papers? Oh, yeah, there is. So just look at it. Like move, the, move the mouse, like, to it. Like, to the paper. I'm trying. You got back up. <clears throat> this is really sad. I can't even do it. Patient name, Emmeline okay. Quincy. Birth date, February 18th, 1902. Age, 6 <sighs> years old. Weight, 20 kilograms. Height, 130 centimeters. Date of appointment, November 29th, 1908. Patient came in a week ago complaining about pain while coughing and some muscle pains. She's looking different than the last time I saw her, so I asked how she was feeling. Patient noted a shortness of breath, more pain, and very slight nausea. As I expected, nausea. I decided to run some tests. The first was a blood test. Patient was strangely neutral in response to needles than most children her age. I'm worried Emmeline may have something more than a common cold. After yeah. taking a blood sample, I asked mm -hmm. Emmeline to cough as hard Be as she can into a zombie. cup for a sputum bacterial test, and she complied after Walking a minute dead. or two. A fever starts, I up the and then turned to a zombie. prepared it for analysis. Oh my God. Unfortunately, these tests can take a while, so for now, I gave her a liquefied antibiotic and told the mother we will have the results back in a month or so. I pray that I am wrong about my predictions. Signed, Dr. Mark Andrews. Okay, so this little girl is the guy's sister? The guy that, I mean, you're delivering your career, so you're delivering a note. 
the old man wants you to deliver a note to her. Yeah, but he said a sister, but she's six years old, so this guy... I don't know how he, he's the brother. Well, babe, maybe she's older now. These might be old notes. You know what I mean? Okay. Possibly. He said little sister. I said sister. Yeah, that is weird. Maybe she's just like... Maybe this is like when she's older now. It's a place you can tell is oddly, you know, old, abandoned. Mm -hmm. But she's gonna be the one monster. Jeez, that's scary. Look, the, you got the peaceful music now. Oh, so does sound so peaceful. Yeah, it is. Listen to it. Look how pretty it is outside. This is the most peaceful music you'll get in Amnesia. I think it's locked. The more locked doors, the better for you. Less rooms to go in. It's not too bad. Wait, go look over there. There might be something. Oh, you don't gotta check behind the paint. I wanna check behind because there's so many. I don't think there's. See, I always throw those plants though, just because sometimes there could be like a key hidden in them, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't make it that difficult. Hmm? It doesn't make it that difficult. Yeah, I don't think so either. So check that door. It's probably gonna be locked too, I'm guessing. Huh. Maybe not. You're wrong again. <gasps> there's a potion there and a note. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. Ah, <sighs> See, the glowing stuff is always Patient name, Emmeline Quincy. Oh, Birth you're Birth date, later. February 18th, 1902. Yeah, so this is old. Age, 7 years old. Weight, 18 kilograms. Uh -oh. Height, 130 centimeters. Date of appointment, March well, 13th, she's dead, and what's the point giving the package to her? Blood and speedum test finally came back from the lab after being shipped out on December 8th, 1908. I have been in contact with the mother of child, Emmeline, in the meantime, and the child has only gotten worse. The antibiotic did not help. No, the mother of the child. The, the mother is the child named has symptoms of nausea, Emeline. headaches, breathing pains, oh. and wheezing, as wait, well wait, as weight loss mind. due wait, to said no, nausea. No, no. The no, tests sent out for testing for a disease commonly spread this, throughout yeah. these times. He's, pneumonia. It's just the way he said it. Both tests came back positive, and it has been far too she long died. of a time waiting for the proper diagnosis to have stopped it. Maybe it's the disease has already spread too far than the equipment we have to handle it at this time. Mm -hmm. I requested mm -hmm. hospitalization to the mother but told her Emmeline would not defeat the disease either way. The mother told her she would like to keep Emmeline home, so she would feel most comfortable. I reluctantly agreed, and told her I'd do what I could to make Emmeline comfortable. Emmeline's estimated date of death? Late April to early May. Oh, so that's like when she's supposed to die, so... Sorry. It's possible. Dr. Mark Andrews. He doesn't know. Another key! And the way, the glowing stuff. See, the glowing stuff is something you need, so pick that up. Why? The glowing thing, like move the the thing next to it. No, it wasn't. Oh, you had it. No, no, the thing is glowing. Th is this thing glowing? No. no, but that thing was. You picked up the other thing. Maybe you can't pick it up the oh, no, no. I don't know why it's. <laughs> <laughs> That's a creepy photo. Oh my god. Is that oh, supposed yeah. to be her? That's from another map I played on that too. I guess someone's been drinking a lot. Yeah. Alcoholic. Wait, check the rest of the room. Look in the drawer. Make sure there's nothing important in there. And I have an odd feeling, like, pull it out, the bottom, the middle one. I have a feeling that there's something by those boxes, because they're all stacked up on each other. You see what I'm saying? Maybe not. Yeah, never mind. There's nothing. Okay. And you don't need to check the drawers by the desk. I don't or do? Well, it's up to you. I mean, I feel like this map's just pretty simple. You know? I don't think there's going to be anything in them. I'm normally, like, crazy about checking everything, but... I broke, so I broke something. Oh, I was getting scared for a second. It was from when the chair is. Yeah, this is peaceful music, though. Yeah, but it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's a little Okay, picking up stuff is the most complicated thing on this game. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so what is this uh, key open that to? That key's probably just gonna be for this next. Well, that last door, I'm guessing. That one's probably gonna be locked. Oh. <laughs> then monster comes out and we no. die. Wardrobe, though. I'm not happy about seeing that. What the heck is this? Clothes piled. That's not creepy at all. He 
He went really just stops. Check the wardrobes. You can do that. Okay. Yeah, like your frightening encounter with the wardrobes. <sighs> that person just coughs. Just scared the crap out of me. Mm -mm. Oh, person's music. Okay, got nothing here for you. Is there something on the ceiling? A high look up. Oh, never mind. I thought there was like a painting. My God. Painted this room. So the key, I'm guessing, is for this one. Yep. Uh, the key that you got. What wait, you I have how did I got two? Oh wait, wait, wait! Go back. It says that it unlocks a bedroom. One of the remember the locked door. It unlocks that first room. Okay. Run. Wait, how you run? Shift. No, that's not how you run. Shift. You have to hold it. It's this door right here. Oh, hey, this is that's not running. Yeah. I don't understand why this map doesn't use like the simple back and forth arrow buttons. The what? Back and forth arrow buttons. Oh. So this can't be used. Is there. Hold on. What does it say? So this can't be used. This key locks the door around here someplace. See, I told you. Did you try it on that door too? No. On this one? No, you said it was the one back there. Perhaps I'll find him lane. Whoa, Ooh. what the hell happened here? Those are all notes to her. Press M. That means that you got a message in your hand. The dead sister gives for oh so many God, years. That's so sad. He thought he was trying to contact her all those years and she never answered. Oh. They're all just piled. It's so worth her body. I don't know. Check the chest over there. There's a mm. wardrobe and a chest. Just check the chest first. It was ch Just open that. See if there's something. Oh, well, I thought there was a dead body in here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing even. <laughs> uh -huh. And music stops. Okay. I'm back on. That stuff won't open. That's weird. I guess not. I wonder what we're supposed to be doing here. It's a heck of a lot of parcels. Let me check there. God, she's not in there. I doubt they would have her in, in the closet. Yeah, but what Wait, the so do I just flee the parcel here? No, walk around the side of the bed. I can't. We can double Oh, click. wait. So. Oh. See? Do you need your help? Oh, crap. Please don't tell Thank you, son. That's so creepy. Is that the end of the map? I still had a key left over. So is the old man ghost too? I have no idea. That's a very interesting map. I'm so confused. I was I was just like I was like thinking about like a ghost just popping out after I placed it down. Is I was like <laughs> We're wondering what happened to her at the end, but I mean... I'm telling you, she died by a disease. That's a sad ending, if you think about it. He thought mm -hmm. all that time that, like, she's just ignoring him, basically. That's so sad. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And happy holidays! <laughs>